Many thanks for being with me this morning on Off the Press, the program where we talk about the National Day List, dissect the issues and make sense of it. And this morning with me in the studio to, of course, understand the Day List today is Public Affairs Analyst uh, Bolaho Olegedi. Thank Good you for be being here. here. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we are here this Wednesday morning uh, with uh, four or five papers this morning to take a look at and analyze them. And up for review this morning is the Nation newspaper. Uh, the Nation newspaper, it says, the big story there is disquiet in presidency over Vice President Oshibajo. And um, AMI begins trial of ex-GOC over missing 400 million Naira, soldiers on the run. You find that as already displayed on your screen on page seven. 320 Nigerians to return from South Africa today. Clark cautions government. You find that on page 42 of the Nation newspaper, Fireshare's government left 57 billion naira debt, says Fayemi, governor, to clear the areas. You find that also on page 43. Now, 26 years old for Commissioner in Quara. Uh, you find that on page 8, and woman kills lover, uh, already displayed there on page six of your newspaper. And top bottom, we have a missed reaction thrill president's economic team. Uh, and then Eagle's talent excites raw to your right. UK court here suits on Brexit. So where do we begin? Oh, and then down here, it says Buhari dissolves Obono Oblast recovery panel. And then, uh, and then on page 41, good news, free surgery for 150 persons in Lagos. Please find out what that is all about on page 43 as we begin this morning. Okay, I, I think it's okay to start from the top left corner. Mm -hmm. The army begins a trial of the GOC. Mm. Um, one of the problems we have as a nation is impunity. Okay. And um, if we don't deal with it, we will eventually destroy what we have. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think this is an order. We should pursue this to the very end. If, if also uh, it's found not to have uh, been guilty, mm. to be let go, but we must pursue this to the very end. Um, it's also important from the perspective of the insecurity situation we have in the nation. If there are, th th we've had incidences of certain soldiers on the war front complaining. You've had situation in which there were gunshots, mm. uh, their own commander you know, uh, in, in the past. Um, so 400 million naira being taken away, the issue of stealing and, or missing, it, it's, it's not a nice commentary mm. uh, for us as a nation. For those guys at the war front, hearing those kind of stories, it, it's, not, it's not palatable. Mm. So we should get to the end of this and ensure that where um, this gentleman is guilty, that way, the appropriate sanctions mm. are meted out to you. I saw him on wheelchair. Um, in the yes, <laughs> at the, is it tribunal you call it mm. now? Yesterday, and I found it very funny. Right. There's something about wheelchairs, and uh, once people have been found uh, are facing corruption trials, wheelchairs as a way of showing up. Well, we can do better. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I agree with you to say that, uh, like the soldiers, uh, that's not good news, so to speak, because they already have a lot to contend with. To deal with. with. People are dead, people are dying lot. all the time. Mm. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's... We hope that uh, something will come out from that. Yeah, so... There's the issue of the disquiet and presidency of a vice president of Shibajo. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? You know, the, the um, new committee set up, yes. in my opinion, is one of the best steps ever taken by this administration. Okay. Um, the committee is eminent, is superb, and can actually deliver on the mandate of taking us out of the economic doldrums that we have found ourselves. Um, when I saw the stories in the papers yesterday, I started seeing the tone. I know that there was going to be a political dimension to, to this. It. Hmm. So I'm not surprised that all the, the papers are filled with all the conspiracy theories about what is going on. Mm -hmm. But irrespective of these theories, there will be more theories. Don't forget. Okay. By the time you get to the weekend papers, it's going to be filled with all sort of uh, perspective mm -hmm. on, on what is going on. And the decision. But whatever is going on, it doesn't invalidate the fact that we have a superb committee that can deliver on, on the mandate. Mm -hmm. Number two, it doesn't also remove the fact that the existing economic, uh, the, the former economic uh, management team yeah, could yeah, not have been able to deliver what this new committee would deliver. And the reason is because when you look at the makeup, okay. 
it's ministers, mm. minister of finance, minister of uh, uh, budget and planning, CBN governor, some director general somewhere uh, in, the, in, in the mix. Mm. These are people who already you have, know the staff. Um, they, are, they, are staff they, are, they, are, they have a job to protect. They've been in the system. Mm -hmm. They've been part of the government. What new exactly are we expecting from that former committee? I don't think there will be, they will have been able to put on the table things that are new or things that could even challenge uh, 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 the way the thinking of the government. Mm -hmm. But when you bring these external people, they could mm -hmm. put things on the table that would challenge the existing thinking of the government. They can bring up new things. So this is actually the way to go. Uh, as far as uh, 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 helping us solve our economic problem is, is, is concerned, mm. in, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we had that conversation yesterday here, and um, the analyst also said he feels that these are the best minds ever in this uh, new um, I, I think I should also commission. quickly comment on that, because there were issues of certain agencies uh, are now to report to the president mm. on certain matters, mm -hmm. and that was another... Uh, theory because about the how the VP have been emasculated. Mm. But here is the reality. Anybody who has seen a governance document before knows that where there are, are sections on approval, you have various limits. The, the sections will normally talk about when the transaction is, is about this and this, and is about this amount, mm -hmm. this is the approval authority, this is the approval person. Okay. When he goes to this level, this is who is qualified to approve. When he goes above, this is who is qualified. So people who are making that theory, the question we need to ask them is, that, are they suggesting mm. that before now, those, those uh, issues that were meant to be approved by the president, that the vice president has been approving them? Good is that what they are suggesting? Mm. No, I don't think so. If the law setting up those agencies has said, when the nature of the transaction is this, it must go to the president, it must go to the president. Mm. That is the reality. So anyway, the issue here. watch out for more conspiracy theories. <laughs> All right. OK. Uh, so um, missed reaction trail, that's just what we, you talked about, missed reaction yeah. trail, President's economic team. We'll see what will come out of uh, uh, this new uh, group that he has taken. And on the back page of the Nation newspaper is the columnist there, Festus Erie. It says, the ugly Nigerian. And then picture story busted by the FBI. This has to do with um, the hackers, with the story we had of the internet yo, fosters. Yo, yes, so please grab a copy of the Nation newspaper and find out what this is about. Top down there also it says Nigeria and the South African attacks by Nii, um, thinking about tomorrow. Grab a copy of the Nation newspaper as we move now to the Punch newspaper. And the big story in the, on, here on the front page is 817 Nigerians waiting for evacuation in South Africa. Federal government says that. The big story, you'll find it on page 9. And then inflation dropped in August despite border closure. NBS says that. Find that on page 25, already displayed there on your screen. Submit yourself for trial, EFCC tells ex-AGF Adoke. Now, FG inaugurates panel to recover 500... Uh, 5 trillion naira and condeds. You find that on page 13. And CBN begins charges on deposit withdrawals above 500,000. That's serious. Uh, on page 27. And we have picture story here of uh, Sabo Koji Island in Lagos. Uh, Abiodun invites Amosun Akinlade's loyalists to rejoin APC. I pop can't attack me outside Nigeria. Ngige says, find that on page 21, and stop Obaseki, lose Edo South-South ex-advisor warns Oshomole. On page 21, again, a woman stabs lover to death over daughter's birthday. Please find out what this is about on pages 4 and 5. It must be a big story. It's got two pages allocated to it, but just find out for yourself <laughs> what that is about. So... Um, yeah, this growing number is uh, is interesting. Mm -hmm. 817 waiting. Remember, we have evaporated. moved some people. Yes. And uh, we we're, were to move another 320 or thereabout. Mm -hmm. And here we are now that there are 817 Nigerians. The number has even waiting. increased. The registration is now 1,004 persons willing to leave. Willing come to back. leave. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's, um, I, th I think it's a minus for South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, it's a challenge for us as, as a country. So it's um, a two way thing. It's a two way thing for us to fix our country, make it work better for us, uh, make it a home where we can live and prosper. That is not to say that people will not 
have a need to, to go seek uh, greener pasture or to go to uh, other places. But whenever other places get hostile for them, they would not have any hesitation about, you know, Returning going back to their own countries because their country is good. Mm. You know, so that, that, that's my, my comment about that. Um, I'm aware that um, the, the airline had a problem. Yeah, they, they in, were not granted landing permits. Permit. Mm. <clears throat> and that was just a few days after the apologies. Mm. Um, it, it's something that we need to understand what actually went wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, it's capable of undermining the, uh, the apology in, in itself. If you are indeed sorry, and at the same time, you're putting some stum stumbling blocks mm -hmm. um, along the path. But it might also not be stumbling blocks, which is why I think it should be investigated. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to the nitty gritty of what really happened. And, and then we can make a, a judgment call. Mm -hmm. on, on Otherwise, you'll be seen as a, it will be seen as a sharp contrast. You know, say, exactly. So say you apologize today, tomorrow you, you act you, differently. You act differently. Mm. You know. So we just hope that this whole South African thing will be a lesson for both South Africa and for ourselves. Again, follow up to that is the conversation ongoing. That should the president still keep to his state visit, which is he would be going there in October, October. the third. And you know that um, again. The federal, our government is asking for compensation for those people that have been attacked. But again, um, Siri Ramaphosa says he'll leave that until our president comes over. I, th I think it's okay to go. Uh, number one, personally, I believe the room to George or should never be closed. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, even people who have gone to wars and killed hundreds of their own people, mm -hmm. after all the killings, come together and say, let's discuss. So, how much more if mm. we have an opportunity to even not allow uh, that level of, mm. of, of, of a candidate to happen and we just sit down and resolve our issues and move forward. Move forward, you know, very important. I, I, I think it's important. Mm. The CBN begins charges yes. on deposit. And about 500,000 uh, 500, mm. and above. I'm not sure if the word begins is appropriate because we've had it before. Well, yes. No, uh, okay. <laughs> maybe it's bring sort of bringing it back, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in, some, in some states in Nigeria, we've gone cashless at some point. Lagos was one of it, I think. Abuja, Rivers, um, I can't remember whether Kano was inclusive, but mm -hmm. we did it across certain select states in Nigeria uh, uh, time. around 2013, 2014, uh, that, that period. Mm -hmm. uh, at the point in time, it was sort of suspended. I think in the early days of this new administration was when it was suspended. And it's now been so long that we have forgotten that we have gotten, we've done this before, mm. especially in, 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 uh, in some part of Nigeria. It will come with its little pains, pinches here and there. Definitely. But it is the right step to take. Why, does, why, do people, why do we want to be carrying this much cash all around? Mm -hmm. We are a huge cash economy. It is not the way to go. One of the biggest costs in the banking sector is the cash processing. CBN also incurs cash processing. It's not, uh, it's, we, we need to be able then, don't forget that cash is also, also encourages graft in a way. Mm -hmm. When you do your transactions through the banking system, it can be tracked and traced and monitored, and some element of transparency comes with that. That's correct. But when it is cash, the track is lost. Mm. You know. So it's a matter of, okay, they are easing us into this sometimes in 2020 when it will start. Mm, yeah, we can have some maybe. negotiations if there are some, if, if the penalties are harsh, maybe we can have a midpoint where the penalties will be mildened. There will be public engagement. There will be citizens' education about why we are doing what we are doing. I think the citizen education also is very is quite important. important. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it won't be understood it, completely. Exactly. So people mm. need to know why we are doing this. And at the same time, the CBN is also lowering uh, the charges for the electronic platform. Hmm. So mm -hmm. it's saying, I need you, essentially saying, I need you to migrate your transactions onto the electronic platform and do less of cash. Hmm. So if we have that understanding, I, I completely say, yes, there should be understanding. Understanding. The citizen um, education part of things is very important. All right. Uh, so 
And then the back page of the, the Punch newspaper is another column, uh, still on Ekwaramadu's Nuremberg's trial. Are we still there? <laughs> well, <laughs> there is something there for you. Please grab a copy of the Punch newspaper and see what uh, Lekong is saying about that. And Brazilian uh, fans berate Federation over Eagles Friendly on page 47, but somehow it found itself on the back page. Please grab a copy of the Punch newspaper as we move on to Vanguard and just the first thing I say is the picture story uh, yeah. of him being wheeled. On the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Vanguard says, after apology, South Africa delays airlifts of returnees. Uh, that story is on page five. It's already displayed there on your screen. Landing permits not issued to airpiece for hours. Why xenophobic attacks will not be discussed at the UN General Assembly? Onyema, uh, our foreign affairs ministry, saying that reps to meet Buhari insists on compensation. Baja uh, threatens to report foreign minister to president. president. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we have the <coughs> picture story of the general court marshal, just what we we're talking about, uh, Major General Hakim Otiki, the GOC 8th Division of the Nigerian Army on wheelchair facing the general court marshal head, headed by uh, general L.O. Adeoshun and others. Okay, and then vandalized pipeline. Nigeria's oil export down by 150 barrels. Uh, that's on 150,000 barrels actually. That's on page 41. And then on page 42, xenophobia. Why South Africa uh, must court Nigeria and others? Obasanjo is saying something there. And arrives to reintroduce uh, PIB, estimated electricity billing, prohibition bills, and others. Bajabia Mila saying that. Mm -hmm. And the minimum wage, prepare for nationwide strike, labor tells civil servants. That's on page four. And agencies under me take directives from president. Uh, that's the vice president saying that. Independence of judiciary under attack, says MBA president. On page eight, and burden of service, Adoke Light, says Magu, on page eight. And this woman uh, story, the one who stabbed the husband. Please find out what this is about. So where shall we begin? Um, this just captured what we were saying earlier. Yeah, earlier how um, the action. Apology does, on one side, yes. and then on some unnecessary delay on the mm. other side, uh, which well, by the time we drill further down, hmm. we'll be able to know what actually went wrong. Even though the minister had said also in the news this morning that the, the hitches, all the delays and the technical errors, all of them are being they're working Looked into. on them. And exactly. hopefully the other ones uh, are expected to be in the country today, sometime today. Baja threatens to report foreign minister to... To president. To president. Um, well, the assembly had asked for him to come. Mm -hmm. and talk to them about South Africa and xenophobia and all the things that are going on. Um, if you ask me, I, it, it should be pardonable that around this time, this particular minister has been very busy. He's the one at the heart of this matter. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's a possibility that somewhere along the line, uh, he has not been able to and, and this kind of a summon, mm. you probably want to be there by yourself. Yeah. And that, is, that in itself is a, is a honor mm. to the assembly in itself, not, not that you send a, a, a director to mm. go and represent you. But he has been very busy. But on the flip side, when you are busy, you do something. You can mm. get across to those guys, even if it's on phone, mm -hmm. let and say, gentlemen, we I've cannot see this. what is going on. Mm. I received this. I will come and show, I will, I will show up. Mm. You know, I don't think he has done that. Mm -hmm. And I think he should go ahead and do and that. And do that. Right. I hope he hears that. Um, now, what are your thoughts on the nationwide strike? I, I often ask, is that the solution? Is um, that usually the solution? Would they give us it's, People, people have argued that somehow um, is a language that the government understands. I, strike I don't, action. Mm, that when the strike happens, then all of a sudden things start to happen. Mm. But it, 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 it shouldn't be the way things happen should go in the real sense. But when you think about the fact that the minimum wage issue has been on the table for several months yeah, now, and implementation long. has been a problem, um, agreeing on the adjustment is a major issue that the labor and government have not been able to uh, come to a, an agreement on. Mm. It shouldn't be something that is impossible. If they need to get more negotiators on the table, I think it's in order to do so. Okay. And 
if higher level beyond the labor ministry needs to get involved, if, even, even the president, presidency, hmm. or you might say the, the vice president of issue, uh, you know, gets in, into the mix, just to ensure that we can prevent issues of strikes and the economic consequences of those things. Anytime we go on those strikes, we lose money. Mm -hmm. So and there's a, it's an not a time to be to also. be losing money uh, right now. I, I understand the complexities of there is no money. Even if federal government manages to, I know federal government in itself also has cash flow issues. Mm -hmm. But let's even say they manage to do their own. What about the states? Yeah. There are still states that are owing salary as we're speaking. That's correct. Mm. And that is at 18%, 18 I mean, uh, 18,000 minimum wage. Mm. So at uh, 30,000, what would those kind of states do? How realistic. Yeah, so some of those states are also part of the reason it is difficult to close out on this matter. Mm. All right, so we we'll move to this day now in the interest of time. After collecting 2.8 billion naira severance pay, former CG and Belga acts against country. EFCC My to Arif Belgore. Belgore, thank you so very much. <laughs> EFCC to arrange suspects in P and ID field deal soon. Concerns mount as Oguntade orders other extrajudicial officers hold briefs for foreign interests. And uh, there is a picture story there of uh, Minister of State of Finance, Budget and Planning, uh, Prince Clem, a United Nations uh, Development Program resident representative, Mohammed Yah Yah. Ya. So, and then South Africa's antagonism persists, delays landing permits to airpace. That's on page uh, nine, it's here, but continued on page nine. And the nationwide implementation of cashless policy begins March of 2020. The other earlier paper said February, but anyways, somewhere in the first quarter, that's what it implies. Yes. Uh, you find that on the page, page eight of this day. And the stakeholders seek higher output as inflation drops to 11.2%. ICPC chair heads committee to recover AMCON's five uh, trillion Naira debt. Uh, please find that on page 10. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, any um, of this quickly? The Justice Bagore retired mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. is, uh, is an interesting dimension. Okay. Um, you know, when the PA and ID story broke, um, obviously, when you look at the entire mix, you have this feeling that our people at certain top levels mm -hmm. um, must have played some roles. Uh, in getting that transaction to go through, mm. you know. And all through to the arbitration, to the court in the UK, um, things are not as smooth as, as it should be. Mm -hmm. And government has said, oh, we're going to investigate and find out everybody that had one role or the other to play to in it. this matter. So coming up with uh, the name of former uh, uh, CGN Belgore mm -hmm. in the mix is an interesting dimension. I hope we get to the bottom of this. Mm. Now, people in his position are precluded from taking up briefs for other governments when they leave our own government. That's because by the nature of the roles they, 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 they played in Nigeria, mm. these people have access to a lot of national information. So when you go and provide a service to other, other governments, or, 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 or citizen of other, you, you may compro a lot of compromise can come mm. in the mix. All right, thank you very much. Sorry, we might have to round up on this note. Uh, thank you for your thoughts there. And that's where we end it for today on Off the Press. We'll do this again tomorrow, 8.30, here on Plus TV Africa, where we tell you everything on the headlines and on the newspaper. I am Amaka Ukoye. Have a great day.